Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey y'all, come over here, kids, 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 kids. Come over here, come over here, come over here. I want before y'all go, before y'all go, before y'all go. Y'all said this was Jesus Christ. Come over, be honest, be honest with yourself. You said, don't leave your sister by herself, man. Come over here. Don't be, don't be, don't leave your sister here by yourself. Lift up this sign right here. Lift up this sign. Lift up this sign. Pay attention. Is this Jesus Christ? Do you believe that this Jesus Christ? Lift it up. Is this Jesus Christ? Be honest. No All right, how about you? Is this Jesus Christ? Be honest. How about you? Is that Jesus Christ? Be honest. What were you taught? You said that seizure boy is here. Give me Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. We're going to bring out the real image of Jesus Christ. I want everybody to pay attention to this. Because they've been lying to us all the days of our life about who Jesus Christ really was. Pay attention. Don't leave. Read this. Matthew chapter 24 verse 4 and Jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ so what does the word deceive me what does the word deceive me huh speak 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 louder to trick to trick right so it says be to fool the mind, to trick you. So it says, be not deceived. Many shall come in my name saying they're Christ. So they're going to be imposters. There's going to be other people saying they're Christ. Give me John chapter 7 verse 38. But how do, how would you know the difference? But all praises by reading the Bible. That's how you're going to know who's telling you the truth and what Jesus Christ really looks like. Come over here. Come a little bit closer. If your brother, this is your brother right here, sis. What's your name? What's your name? Nigeria, that's your little brother? Your cousin. If you was kidnapped, if you got kidnapped, what would your parents give the police officer to find you? What, what, what would they give him? A description. So how would we know who really is Jesus Christ? We need a description to know which one is the real Jesus Christ and which one is the fake one. All right, read that. John chapter 7, verse 38. Lift up that sign. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. So you have to believe on Jesus Christ as the scripture said. Yes. Not what man tell you, but what the scriptures say. So go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. We're about to read what Jesus Christ looks like. Read that. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The out. revelation of Jesus Christ. You're about to get the answer and you're walking away. Read it again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. So everybody that's listening, listen to this. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. The Messiah. The greatest man to ever walk this earth. Read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The hair on Jesus Christ's head was white like wool. Your natural kinky hair, your natural Negro Afro hair, 
That nappy hair is the same head on top of Jesus Christ's head. That same type of hair is what Jesus Christ had on his head. The same hair that you perm, the same hair that you cover up with weave. God says that's what's on Jesus Christ's head. White woolly textured hair. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of Jesus Christ's eyes were red. Read on. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine bread. All you sisters walking in sandals, your feet is the same color as the rest of your body. If I could tell the color of Jesus Christ's feet, I could tell you the color of the rest of his body. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn rice, you sisters that don't know how to cook, you burned rice before. If you burn the color of rice, what color does it turn? If you burn rice before, what color does it turn? It turned what color? It turned what color? What color does it turn? For what color was Jesus Christ? He was a black man. You have been lied to your whole entire life. Even the kids know that. I want to bring something up for you parents that's coming up. Give me Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. You parents that teach your children, you shouldn't lie. All you parents that teach your children, you shouldn't lie. December 25th coming up, and you say that's Jesus Christ's birthday. Jesus Christ was not born in the dead of winter. He was born during the springtime Passover, which is between March and April. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. You blacks and spacks and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. God says, hear these words. Read. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. What we're about to bring out, God says, don't ever learn from it. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Now, brothers, tell me what custom this is that God says do not learn. Read. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What custom does a person goes into the forest, cut a tree out of the forest with an axe? Read on. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They decorate, they decorate that tree that they cut out of the forest with silver and with gold. What custom that is that God says don't do, that we keep today? What is it? What custom is it that you go into the forest, well, you don't go to the forest no more, you go to Walmart. You go to Publix now to buy it. You don't have to go to the forest no more. But usually back in the days, they'll go to the forest, cut it down, put it in their house, and deck it with silver and with gold. What custom is that? What is it? Brothers, Christmas. Christmas, read it again. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 4. They deck it with silver. No, verse 3. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh -huh. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Read. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. What custom that God says that the people of Israel should not do, that they go into a forest, cut a tree down, put it in their home, and decorate it with silver and with gold? What custom? That is Christmas. God says you shouldn't be teaching your children that. You shouldn't be keeping that custom. There's no chimneys in South Florida. Ain't no big white man trying to come down in the ghetto to give you Christmas presents. That is a lie. And you teach your children that. And you tell your children you shouldn't lie. God says do not keep that custom nor teach your children it. You understand that? It's, it's family day. You don't call it Christmas, but you still observe that day. So do you give your kids presents on that day? So what you do during that day? That's what that's what no, that's what normal uh, the, uh, churches do. They feed during Christmas. They feed the homeless. On what day? Well, family day. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You do that every day? What days do you feed the homeless? 
Just that day. Nah, what's family day? Nah. What if I'm asking, how many times do you feed a homeless? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get get uh get Thessalonians, five to one. What what day do they call it? Do you tell them not to celebrate Christmas? Why not? No, no, it ain't no each his own, brother. And you know what? That's the problem. If you see, hold on, watch this, watch this, hold on, hold on. You got a, you got a son, right? What if your son say, Daddy, I know you told me not to sleep with another man, but to each his own, Daddy. Would you correct your son or would you say, to each his own, son? You go correct them. Why? Because you love your son. Do you love your people to correct them? So, but you just said to each his own. So do you tell them not to celebrate Christmas? Okay, what's this? What's this? Oh, what's this? First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Who are... No, 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 abstain from all the prayer song. Verse 22, abstain. Abstain means to don't do. Stop, right? From all appearance... From what? All appearance of evil. Passing out plates on, day, on Christmas Day is an appearance of evil no matter what you call it. Right. You can call it family day. You can call it God day. Right. You can call it uh, white Santa Claus day. Right. Passing out place on Christmas is an appearance of evil. Right. So therefore, don't do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like you should do it on Thanksgiving. What's next week? Thanksgiving. So you got... <laughs> <Ain't> it... <laughs> Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hey, brother, what was it? I'm, I'm asking all the question. I'm asking all the question. What holidays do you keep? What holidays do you keep? Birthday, Joseph's birthday. What, what about uh, 4th of July? What about New Year's? But there are days God told you to celebrate. Do you know, do y'all know those days? Okay, I'm going to show you something. Give me uh, for, uh, Leviticus. 23 and 1. There are days that God told you to celebrate. So we have no excuse not to celebrate God's days. Especially if you know it. Read that. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, speak unto the children of Israel. Because y'all are the Israelites. That's what we're looking at. Israelites. Read. And say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord. Concerning the what? The feast of the Lord. The holy days of God. God calls them feast days. Read. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. A holy gathering. Watch this. Even these are my feasts. Verse 3. Six days shall work be done. So God is going to give you a holy day that we're supposed to keep. God says six days shall ye labor. Read. But the seventh day, but the seventh day, what's the seventh day of the week? What's the seventh day of the week? What's the first day? What's the seventh day? Sunday's the first day. Convocation. You're supposed to be gathering together with holy, righteous, like minded people. Are you gathered together on the Lord's Sabbath day in a holy convocation? Is this convocation holy? Why not? The whole thing about today is wicked. Everything. Everything is wicked. We are here to reprove you. We are to pull you out of darkness. We are to raise you up to the princess of God you are. But they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. You know why? Because we don't want to hear it. The man don't want to hear it. Therefore, the woman don't want to hear it. 
So the day y'all should be keeping is God's Sabbath day. So I mean, y'all ain't supposed to be out here. Why y'all out here? <laughs> you, you, and you know what? And you know what? I agree with that. But your initial thought to come out here wasn't for this. Why? What was it for? Fraternity brothers. Now you know that Europeans came up with oh, Europeans came up with Christmas and stuff. The Greeks is the Europeans is the offspring of the Greeks, which today we still are in fraternity that was made by the same Europeans that told us Christmas was okay. So you ain't no different from celebrate Thanksgiving. You might want to celebrate Christmas and call it Christmas instead of Family Day. You might want to stop lying to yourself and be all out. You are a follower. Yes, you are. We can't have followers in Israel, man. You are a follower. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Give me some rock. Chapter um, 19 and verse 27. Watch this. Watch this. You are a follower, brother. A lot of brothers out here are followers. You follow somebody, whether you believe it or not. You either going to follow God or you going to follow man. Ain't no archer, ain't, ain't, what, what they call them? Ain't no uh, 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 leaders out here. Everybody out here is following something. Whether you following Waka, whether you following Jay-Z, whether you following T.D. Jakes, whether you follow Democrat, Republican, voting for Barack Obama, voting for Donald Trump, right wing, left wing, still the same eagle. You still a follower. So you can lie to yourself and say, ain't no follower. You following somebody. That's why everybody out here today, somebody promoted this and they followed the idea of coming out here. Watch this. Surah, chapter 37 and verse 12. But be continually with a godly man. I ain't catch your name, brother. What's your name? Jermaine. What's your name, brother? Huh? Jay and Jermaine. God says be continually with a godly man. If you're going to follow anybody, follow a godly man. That's your job. Because it takes a man to teach a boy how to be a man. So somebody got to follow somebody. Either you're going to follow the wicked or you're going to follow the righteous. You're going to have to follow somebody. Wait. Who thou knowest, you know what? Thou knowest, who thou knowest, to keep the commandments of the Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who thou knowest to keep the commandments. I'm asking ask all the questions. I'm asking all the questions. Is sleeping with a woman that's not your wife, is that wicked? Yes or no? No. Is that wicked? Oh, oh, oh. Why do you think that y'all said it's not wicked? Because y'all following wicked people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.